welcome back to the lovely stranger tarot my name is jasmine i'm pisces sun aquarius rising and scorpio moon and today will be the last part of the true love series um if you haven't seen the other parts of course you can uh watch that part um alone like without any other parts but um, if you go back i have a playlist on my channel and um, you can watch all the six parts um, in a row so you have like a full picture of your future relationship your uh hopefully lifelong relationship okay and today's topic will be how will be the relationship be, relationship B. That means how will the relationship go on? All in all, how will uh, marriage life will be, and what may be some issues that are coming up? Okay, and uh, I have four parts for you. This is part number one with the pink agate. Part two is the amethyst. Part three is the yellow calcite matching my shirt. <laughs> Pile four is the green agate. And if you need more time, then pause the video here and please choose with your intuition, not with your eyes. And I will see you at your pile. Hi, pile number one. Let's see how your relationship will be. Wait, we will wait for that. Let's do the tarot cards first. We have the king of cups. The Five of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Six of Wands. For the Tarot cards, we have Into the Unknown. The Energy is Gaining Momentum. Stay Optimistic About Your Love Life. Let go of control issues and the issues that could occur within your marriage are wild. And I got the feeling that you need one more card, and what I got is pride. Okay, let's see. So I believe. Um, you probably don't know your future spouse yet and um, what I see is that maybe you have to wait for them it doesn't mean that you have to wait from now on so you could meet them like um, in a few months or so that it doesn't say anything about that because I didn't ask for it it just means that you waited a long time to meet your future spouse so it could be that um, you um, meet them relatively late in life, like whatever that means to you. Like, let's say you, if you want to meet, uh, meet them when you are 18 and marry them when you are 20, then you will probably not meet them at this age. Then you will meet them later in life. That could be that you meet them when you're 28. And for others, 28 is not very late. And... Um, but um, for you, it might feel late. It doesn't have to be necessarily late, but it feels late, okay? So you have to uh, stay optimistic about your love life because um, you might feel that this person, um, like, you know, sometimes you feel like this person will not come um, or where is this person? I want to have him or her now. And I think this is part of the problem that you want it a little bit too much. Okay. You're fo too much focused um, on that person. And um, this is why um, this person cannot come through to you. Okay. But um, when this person is here, then uh it might feel a little bit weird for you. It might feel like um, a huge leap of faith because this this could have um, various reasons. It might be that this person um, is maybe from a different state or a different country um, so that you maybe don't know what will uh, await you on the other side. So um, let's say you uh, move to them 
like they say they live in another state and you move to them then of course you you leave everything behind that you know like your friends your family everybody and this is um a, like a, a massive change but otherwise it also will be a massive change okay you you will not know what awaits you there um, if you had relationships like a lot of relationships before then this relationship will be totally different than the relationship that you experienced before okay this is why it also feels unknown maybe this person um has a very different pattern than um you and your other um girl or boyfriends and um this is why it feels so very different to you okay but when you are together i see that you will um that that you both will be very successful within the relationship okay it's gained momentum so um when you meet then the life will change for a better okay so um when uh yeah, when you when you come together, when you uh, when you decide to marry, then your life will definitely go up. Maybe um, socially, like uh, in status, or that you just feel much much better. Okay, and um, yeah, after marriage, this is the tarot cards. I asked for your marriage life, and uh, yeah, this person will or like let's say it might be you or this person is the king of cups. So. Um, this person is very stable, very mature with their feelings. Um, they know how to um, process their feelings, okay? There is nothing like um, insecurities. Um, maybe that was a problem that you or they had before that they might feel insecure. Um, and you will both feel very balanced with your feelings, okay? I think... Um, you uh, uh you both feel very stable within the relationship you enjoy it too so you like to be in a relationship in that marriage okay there's nothing uncomfortable in it it might be that um you both argue a little bit much okay um it, it doesn't have to be much but when you argue i think you um go a little bit overboard with your words um it doesn't have to be that it's you or them maybe it's both of you that you say um things to you um while you are um, arguing that hurt each other okay maybe you um you should try to avoid that because you know words can cut just like a knife and this is um yeah this is you know putting poison in that relationship so try to do not to do that okay and you know after your fights then probably you need some times of rest okay i mean this um relationship you together you heal together too okay but um after these fights, then you need some healing, and this is not um, this is not the best. Okay, so um, try to avoid that and try to talk things out, but try to not um, make uh, use harsh words. Okay, try to say like try to to um, resolve the issues from the uh, me perspective, and I think you will. I think you will learn that with this card. Maybe you you see. Um, that the words hurt each other and then you try to resolve that peacefully okay and I think um, you will be successful this marriage will be very successful because we have the wheel of fortune <clears throat> I'm sorry and the six of wands here so this will be very successful you know the wheel of fortune is upright so your luck is turning up and you have the six of one so what could i say more okay this will be a very very successful relationship you will be together will probably be wealthy um you will um <clears throat> you will be on the lucky side of life okay and you will be very successful may it be in work life maybe you build something together that you work together or just the marriage as it's like you know you probably um will be together your whole life because these are the two um 
the two last cards, okay? And this will, all in all, will be a, rela a successful relationship, okay? You know, and problems are in every relationship, and this is what might come occur because this might be the reason that you are arguing. Okay, we have the pride and the wild card. So, <laughs> the wild card. Yes, one of you might be a wild card. Okay, um, I don't know if it's you or if it's them, but uh, or maybe it's one is wild and the other is prideful. Okay, so maybe one person is very like impulsive uh, maybe saying words they don't really mean but that are hurting and the other person is um too prideful to um to resolve the the issue okay and this is um what you have to resolve throughout your marriage okay so um i don't know if it's you who are the wild one or you're the prideful one but um of course you can do it because we have the six of wands and the wheel of fortune but these are uh, issues that you um might uh, see while you're in your marriage okay and now i have of course i have um some uh movies here and i was like movie couples and i will see whom you will resemble with and if you have not seen the movie then maybe you go watch it file number one movie couples okay let three so let's see oh yeah you are uh, like uh I didn't uh, write it here, but uh, I mean uh, the prince, and uh, I think her name is Veronica, and his name is Hajim or something, and uh, it's the movie Coming to America, okay, and this is, um, yeah, you know, um, the, the prideful one is actually um, the the girl because um you know he wants to uh, uh get into a marriage uh, in, into a relationship with her he comes i don't know if you've seen the movie but um he comes he's actually a prince and he comes to america to um live like a normal person for a few uh months and to find a wife that loves him for who he is and she um of course first um doesn't see who he is because he is fixated on outer exterior things and uh yeah this might resemble okay with you oh yes annie and i forgot his name <laughs> keanu reeves and uh sandra bullock in speed this is like yeah they have a great relationship okay they both have uh, a lot of humor but of course they meet in a very under very um yeah explosive <laughs> circumstances so um that might be that with the into the unknown that you meet that person on very unusual um uh, circumstances okay with like the speed hopefully not a bomb in a bus but um you know and but they have a really great um chemistry okay yes ryan gosling and uh, i love emma stone and ryan gosling in la la land um these are um mostly friends uh they don't have a happy ending but i think you have um and they are mostly friends and they um they meet um uh throughout their job throughout their passion throughout through through their passion and through their job maybe you do that maybe um that was something that you were not used to that you meet somebody through your job maybe um yeah with the unusual circumstances with speed and uh, maybe you you will meet them at their job and uh you share the same passion okay that might be the case Okay, pile number one. Uh, I hope you like that. And if so, then please leave a like, leave a comment down below. And uh, of course, subscribe to my channel. Uh, there are new videos every Monday and every Tuesday. So I hope I will see you soon. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Let's see how your relationship is going to be. For the tarot cards, you have the Queen of Swords in reverse the magician the three of swords 
the Six of Pentacles and the, uh, what's the name? The Chariot. The Chariot. <laughs> we have Storm Fields. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Soulmate. And the issue that could occur within your marriage might be entrapment and also soulmates. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, I think pile number two, um, this marriage will be um, very passionate in a good way and also in a bad way. Okay, so um, of course we have double soulmate. So this is confirmation. You will marry your soulmate, okay? Um, but um, this can be on one hand a beautiful thing. Probably um, this might be even a karmic soulmate. I have to say that um, because we have the soulmate also. Um, I asked explicit for the two cards. Um, I mean for this deck. This is... Um, num, num, num. What's the name? The Heal Yourself cards, tarot, uh, no, not tarot, oracle cards. And um, this is why I asked for issues that could occur throughout your marriage. So the soulmate card came out. And uh, this is um, what could also be a problem, okay? It might be, I get the feeling that you might marry relatively young okay this is the total opposite from the number one um i have the feeling you might um marry very young okay and this person yes this is your soulmate we have a double confirmation but um i think this um this might be a curse and uh you know and a wonder and uh because you know of course you marry that person out of love okay you will love that person very much they love you too but this person will be very stormy very fiery with the storm fields um you probably um yeah you're very passionate with each other but uh passion can also mean that you fight very harshly okay that like you know, like tossing uh, the plates and, uh, you know, uh, uh, smashing the doors and stuff like that. Um, because, like, you're, you're both very explosive, I have the feeling. Okay. And um, I think sometimes, I mean, with the entrapment card, this, I think you or they feel a little bit trapped in that marriage and this might be um, that um, you married very young um, or that um, yeah this marriage how can I explain this marriage is so um, so passionate that you're entangled in that feeling okay um, you almost feel like uh, emerged into each other okay this is why you or your partner feel almost entrapped because you cannot breathe in that um, relationship there is very much going on even though uh, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches um, still I get the feeling that um, this is an up and down up and down okay and we have in the middle, we have the Three of Swords. It could also be if you are not marrying so young, then it could be that, I'm sorry, that this is an ex that comes back. But of course, if you don't want an ex, or if you are like older um, than very young, then probably this is not your pile and you can choose another one. Um, but with the, the end of the tough cycle approaches, I think this is an end of the tough cycle between you, okay? So um, maybe there are a lot of ups and downs and um, maybe this person ghosted you, then you ghosted them. This is an on and off relationship, okay? And when with the end of the tough cycle approaches, then you finally come together. But still, this marriage will be up and down, I have the feeling, like because 
this is the center, okay? This is the center. The, the tarot cards represent your marriage. Um, the oracle cards, the relationship all in all, and these two cards represent the issues, okay? So um, the marriage card, we have this in the center. So there will be hardships in this relationship, okay? And uh, we have the Queen of Swords um, in the reverse, unfortunately. And this means, um, you know, in the upright, the Queen of Swords is... Um, in my opinion, underrated, okay? The Queen of Swords is very logical, very smart, and um, very decisive. So when you come to her in, um, you know, in a deceitful manner, she will cut your head off. But um, when you come to her in an honest way, then she will uh, welcome you, okay? This is um, because she's very clear in her intentions, and she is not unfair. So, um, yeah, but when she's in reverse, then this changes, okay? Then there is a lot of cruelty, um, of coldness, okay? And um, I unfortunately see that, um, yeah, at least uh, this um, marriage that, uh, yeah, maybe your first husband, who knows, um, or wife, um, I should say, um, yeah, this, there could be a, a little bit of cruelty in here. So when you fight, one one will be, I mean, of course, you can also be the cruel one. I don't ask for um, um, only about the other person. This is a marriage, so both people are involved. So you could also be the person who is cruel to them, but probably more vice versa, okay? And, and yeah, one of you will be heartbroken, you know, now and then. So, um, and, but we have the magician. So this, uh, there is actually um, a really nice, um, uh, uh, what's the name? Oh, I forgot. I even forgot in German. <laughs> um, there is um, the chance that this actually would be a very good marriage because the magician is in the upright. So you actually could manifest everything with each other. Okay. But Unfortunately, um, like, yeah, like I said, we have this here, but of course, the magician is a major arcana. So, let's say if you are working on that relationship, okay, then um, this could be a good relationship, but unfortunately, because we are you are soulmates, and uh, yeah, but unfortunately, I think I have the feeling you don't um, treat each other very well. Okay, but like I said, we have the magician here and also the chariot. These are two major arcanas. Okay, so this, oh, yes, I knew, no, no, the word, it, it came to my mind. This marriage has, has a lot of potential to be great, okay, and to be successful. You know, the chariot is a success card. Okay, so it could be that, um, when you work on that relationship, then it will be that, you know, there might be some um, arguments in the beginning and maybe a little bit of hardships. Like maybe it's, a, you know, like a merging card, like a merging phase that you just have to find to each other and that there are some issues uh, throughout this phase and that it's, it's, it will get better with the magician. And we also have the six of pentacles. So, um, you know, you, your give and take will be very equal. Um, if there would not be, um, this, these harsh arguments, these harsh words. Okay. And, you know, this could mean two things, whether when you work on that relationship and, you know, this could be just success right? The success card and, um, you know, you come home, you get the prize, you know, I mean, you are soulmates, you have so much potential. But on the other hand, <clears throat> sorry, if you're not working uh, on that relationship, uh, it could mean that this will not last, okay? Because um, the chariot is, uh, um, yeah, is going to another land, is going to no another um, adventure, okay? So it might be that one of you um, wants to go uh, somewhere else and just wants to separate, okay? So it might be two 
ways, okay? There will be, probably in the beginning, there will be some issues with adapting to each other. I see that. But we have soulmate card twice. We have the end of a tough cycle approaches. That could mean that in the end, you know, first it will be a tough cycle, but you will reach um, the good cycle together. Or this might be that, um, you know, you are soulmates, but still this will not work. So there are two sides to the coin and um, it's up to you how um, you will do it. Okay. Okay, this is very heavy. I'm sorry, part two. I hope, um, yeah, this will uh, lift you up a little. This is the fun part. I'm sorry. I, um, yeah, this was a heavy reading. I'm so sorry. But maybe like you have a good couple. Oh, okay, I think you have four. Oh my gosh, yes, you have Pride and Prejudice, Mr. Bingley and Jane. So uh, if you have not watched Pride and Prejudice, what have you done? Um, and Mr. Bingley and Jane are also, they are soulmates. They are meant to be together. And um, they actually, they're very similar. They are very um, kind hearted and um, yes, very uh, loving. Okay. Then we have johnny and baby from dirty dancing okay so um yeah very th but these are very different actually okay so um these are very different characters baby is like has a lot of money um and johnny has like nothing okay so and actually well um there is vice versa okay jane has not a lot of money and she's a woman you know and in that times women uh would not um uh, uh get anything after the death of the father so you know they had to marry so they uh survive all right and uh jane wasn't not that wealthy but mr bingley was very very rich so maybe one of you is um not very uh rich uh like not very wealthy and the other one is like very much so okay oh again pride and prejudice mr darcy and elizabeth uh yeah of course what should i say mr darcy and elizabeth um are the most wonderful couple um yeah mr darcy is a very kind-hearted man but um he has a uh, um like a shell an outer shell and uh, because he thinks you know that uh Elizabeth, um, you know, Elizabeth Bennet has a lot of sisters and the mother is not very, um, how could I say that? <laughs> she is not uh, uh, appropriate, very much appropriate. And some of her sisters aren't too. Jane is the exception, but, um, you know, and Mr. Darcy thinks everybody uh, of the Bennet family is like that. But uh, Elizabeth is actually very, um, very smart and uh, very sensible. Okay. So, but again, uh, one's rich, one not, okay? Oh, and I, yes, I only didn't uh, only do like um, uh, movie cards. I did the famous couples too. I forgot about that. And I have Prince William. I'm sorry, I, I made a mistake for Ed Prince. Prince William and Duchess Kate. So again, I think one of you uh, might be very wealthy and the other is just a normal person, but the other one is probably uh, very wealthy to rich. Okay. Yes, my uh, lovely part two. I hope you watched it too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry that was so heavy, but I hope you liked it. And if so, then please leave a like and leave a comment down below. And uh, of course, subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday and every Tuesday. And I hope I see you again. Bye. Hi, plan number three. Let's see how your marriage gonna be or your relationship. I have the Ten of Cups for you, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Cups, and Strength. For the Tarot card, we have Details, Details, Show the World the Real You. 
love yourself first for giving and learning and an issue in your marriage that might occur is family and tribe okay yes i think um this um, relationship shows you um, that it's not wrong to love yourself first. In fact, um, maybe uh, whether you need to learn this before you meet that person or you meet it, uh, you, you, sorry, <laughs> you learn it uh, throughout the relationship, okay? Like the Oracle cards are the overall relationship, okay? Um, and uh, yeah, this is a, there is an emphasis on uh, being yourself, okay? You know, it's love yourself first and show the world the real you, okay? So whether um, you need to learn that before you meet that person, but probably you will learn that with them, okay? You meet that person and um, they show you how, um, yeah, how they value you, how they value the real you, okay? And this makes it very easy for you to be yourself, okay? So um, to show everybody, not only your partner, but to be more yourself. Maybe you come from um, very suppressed uh, circumstances, doesn't have to be, but if I say that, then it might be the case um, because it came to me, I channeled that. And, um, and you know, this relationship, will um let you bloom okay this um this this person will let you bloom they love you uh for yourself so it's very easy to open up to everybody else okay and i think this relationship um will heal you this relationship um can open your heart so much that so yet that you can forgive and learn about everything that happened to you probably you had um like i said like a repressed um, maybe childhood or um, you had relationships where you feel very um suppressed uh, or not seen for who you really are but this person will okay and um when you uh, meet that person then you will let go of um like all the relationships you had that would not value you for yourself okay and with the details details card um i just see like um yeah, this person will value also the small things, okay? Probably um, this is how you meet them. Or like when you meet them, they will tell you little things about yourself. Like, you know, they, they say like, oh, you know, I really love, you know, your... Um, uh, 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 your little, uh, what's the name? <laughs> I forgot. Uh, your little dimple uh, on your cheek, you know, and, and you always thought, oh, that looks stupid. Oh, I love your, um, freckles or something like that. And you were like, oh, no, re I really don't like that about myself. But this person will see the little details in you, also in your, um, you know, like let's say you 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 stick your tongue out when you're writing something and they will like oh, so adorable and you're like no i'm a dork <laughs> and they will say like no you're, you're beautiful you're wonderful okay and this will open your heart because they they value you for yourself for your little quirks for your little um yeah i heard that song you know um uh what's the name like uh of um uh, all of me loves all of you or something. Um, I even forgot the name of the singer. But uh, he sings like, uh, you know, all your perfect imperfections. And I think like this is like they see, at, they look at you and everything that you think are imperfections, they think are beautiful and perfect. And you are perfect, okay? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, where should I start? I do it like this. Okay, I asked for the marriage itself. These are the tarot cards, and this is the issue that could occur, okay? And the tarot cards are just beautiful. So, of course, we start with the Ten of 
uh, cows. Okay, and this is absolute fulfillment paired with the two of cups absolutely beautiful so you probably are soulmates you uh, you love yourself so much when you are together like this is wish fulfillment okay this is like um absolute like yeah this is healing pure healing absolute wish fulfillment like a beautiful relationship okay um then i see the um the queen of pentacles in the reverse and there might be um something about money so um yeah the the, re the relationship is beautiful the only thing that you might struggling with a little bit is um the monetary things okay so maybe um you need to um change works um a lot because um you have not enough money so you um uh, need to change jobs because the old um boss would not pay a raise or something like that or you uh, try to um, be um, entrepreneurs and it doesn't work so you have to close and then you have to you know there is problems it's not that you poor because we have the queen of pentacles okay and the queen of pentacles um as soon as there is a tarot card there's a potential okay so there is a potential that it can work and look at her you know the pentacle is shining on her so she's very wealthy and uh very good in monetary things but i think you might struggle a little bit especially um in the beginning of the marriage okay or um like let's say a few years in the marriage okay um yeah but there is a potential that um you are very stable uh, you know it's probably not that you will be uber rich <laughs> okay but like stable wealthy you have enough you know um you have enough maybe to put something aside this is what i mean okay you have potential but probably you will struggle a little bit um especially in the beginning okay but again we have a cups card so um you know i think this will not of course it's always um like a bad thing if the money is not on point but i don't i don't see you like very poor okay i don't see that at all okay but i think um you would like to have a little bit more so uh, maybe you struggle just to um gain that momentum that you um are really wealthy you you have enough you know you have enough to live but um yeah you have potential to be wealthy if you know what i mean okay but of course um this is a very balanced relationship um feeling wise you uh, complement each other very much um you balance each other out and uh you, you nurture each other this is why um you know you love each other very much and i think you heal through each other because you see the light in each other okay and of course you this is a very successful marriage okay this will be a very strong uh, uh, marriage you know you have the strength card this is like um this is a very soft card okay um she tames the lion not with force she tames the lion with um with uh softness okay with love so and this is what is happening in that relationship okay you tame each other with love there is no force in that relationship there is no um no that really there is nothing like no harshness no bad things nothing at all this is only like pure goodness really like i envy your bio actually and um yeah this is really really lovely really lovely how you treat each other okay and yeah this is the issues that might occur and funny enough i mean look at these cards okay we have the lion here and the tiger here so maybe this is significant for you in some kind of way um yeah and of course this could mean uh, a few things um first this could mean that um maybe uh your family or their family uh, has problems with your marriage this could be that um yeah like maybe uh if you're a woman and you want to marry a, a, a man then uh, maybe your family expect that you 
marry rich and maybe you want to marry rich but you fall in love with somebody who is not rich okay and maybe um, your parents disagree or uh, their parents disagree for whatever reasons maybe it's vice versa and you're not a rich a guy okay or i mean there could be many reasons okay maybe different uh, religion different culture <clears throat> i know you know how um people can be and there might be a problem um that is not a problem for you too but for your family or their family okay and the other um thing that can occur and uh this is in my opinion the more bitter thing um, that you might struggle with uh, having children, okay? And um, it doesn't have to be that you don't, will never have children, but you might have uh, issues with that, that maybe, um, you know, uh, it's hard to get pregnant or, you know, or maybe um, there are some losses uh, of, mar uh, of uh, pregnancies or something. Um, but, um, yeah, I, you know, but it doesn't mean that you will never have children. I don't want to say that, but it could uh, take a little longer for you, okay? You might struggle with that. But this marriage can, uh, like, this marriage is really built on very solid ground, okay? Because you have the strength card for the last card. So this will probably your life partner. You will be together forever. So this is so beautiful like really really much so i really and i don't know who said it was it brooke waldorf or so this is part number three and i think she said um that uh part number three always has the magic also, and this is really this is the magical pile okay and now uh, for the fun part i have some couples of movies or couples throughout history and uh who resembles you okay you how you uh, be together okay let's see take a look this is just for fun okay oh the breakfast club Alison and andy or oh, if you have not seen the breakfast club then uh watch it he is um you know, they're actually very different he is the sporty guy and she is the nutcase <laughs> she's called she's a little bit weird and uh but they come together in the end so and then we have uh julia roberts and hugh grant in notting hill oh this is so beautiful actually they are also very different they're coming from two different worlds and uh you know she is if you have not seen it uh, julia roberts is um a hollywood movie star and he is um a book selling guy he has a bookstore and uh yes and it's a very lovely love romantic comedy okay oh again we had that already baby and johnny dirty dancing again uh two different worlds yeah probably this might be a reason like that you maybe are from different worlds okay oh or maybe yeah sleepless in seattle if you have not seen that um oh i think her name is annie also uh, <laughs> um and there is um there is uh, uh you know a, a widower and the uh his child his boy child um calls a radio station and says like uh, that his mom had died and that his dad is sad and that he, he wants to have a mom essentially and you know uh like somewhere like thousands of miles away um you know uh mac mac ryan uh, it's hank uh, uh what's his name hank i forgot his name oh my god Oh my gosh, uh, Meg Ryan, uh, Tom Hanks, yes, Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks, and um, Tom Hanks um, is, uh, you know, is uh, talking about his um, deceased wife, and um, yeah, and Annie uh, really, um, she feels magic, okay, through the radio, and she's thousands of miles away, and, um, you know, but she wants to meet this person because she feels the magic, okay, so it could be that you are from different countries, different 
states or so that you are actually separated when you meet like you are miles away long distance relationship okay it could be the case okay part number three is you have the best pile so far and i hope you liked it if so leave a like leave a comment down below if it resonated and subscribe to my channel i upload every monday and every tuesday and i hope that we see each other again bye last but not least pile number four let's see how your relationship will be oops we have the two of swords the world in reverse the knight of wands the queen of cups judgment in reverse the wizard of awareness encouragement personal is issue reaches re resolution a personal issue reaches resolution express your love flirt and a thing that could be an issue is have faith okay Let's see. So I think this relationship will all in all be, um, I have to explain, the Oracle cards are the relationship all in all. This will be, um, like the top cards would be marriage and one issue um, we have that could occur, okay? So we have a personal issue reaches resolution. So I think, and this is a full moon in Cancer, okay? And Cancer is the sign of family, of um, family unit, okay? And um, of tenderness, okay? And when I look at these cards, I think this relationship will be a very tender one okay you will be very loving towards each other i think you will um, have the family together <clears throat> we have um where do i start <laughs> i mean we have the encouragement card first of all yes um you will be pillars for each other so you will be rocks for each other i think um you will be as a unit very strong um and uh yeah i think you will have at least one child together okay this is first i see i didn't ask for it but i see it here you will at least have one child with that person and um yeah with the wizard of awareness i think um this will be a very spiritual relationship okay i think um you complement each other and you um build a strong foundation together you okay you will when you are together then you are very strong okay and yeah this will be a very touchy feeling relationship okay you will you will not um get enough of touching you know caressing um you know kissing hugging uh stuff like that and this relationship will always be like a very flirty okay so um yeah you you have probably the same sense of humor so when you talk to each other then this will be very flirty sometimes and yeah like i said you really like to express feelings um through body language like touching and holding hands kissing stuff like that okay so let's see i think um the relation the marriage uh, the relationship is actually pretty good but um the relation within the relationship there will occur um probably some 
issues. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the two major corners we have are in the reverse. It's not necessarily a bad sign when things are in reverse, but of course, uh, we don't want that usually. Okay. <laughs> So, like I said, we have the Knight of Wands here. So, I think this will be um, throughout your relationship. This will be very um, loving, passionate even. So, I think you will have good, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like the bedroom activities will be nice. <laughs> and, um, yes, and uh, this will be always like a very fresh um relationship like you you will have um you will have a very you know it, it's like the love stays the same okay L love and lust both and uh, with the queen of cups you both this will be a very um emotional stable relationship okay like i said there will be encouragement towards you know you will encourage yourself so that you can reach your goals uh, with the wizard of awareness it's like um yeah you too um you build like a very strong foundation uh, spiritually and um, as a love force. Like I said, you probably will be a power couple. And um, yeah, but and you will nurture yourself. So this is not the problem here. Okay. Um, what the problem is that maybe you two might um, close your eyes about... Um, real life <laughs> this is like this is what i get with the world in reverse okay so maybe um you are in your little bubble when you marry and um yeah maybe you have a problem or issues with um getting through in the real world if that makes sense so um yeah you in your little love bubble but still you have to pay the bills you have to um you have to go to your job you have to uh, uh get a home you know and i think this might be you too may be uh not too good in um like <laughs> not like, like what i say what i want to say is like nobody of you is too grounded okay maybe um you're a little bit naive i won't say but um like maybe um you just don't want to to face the reality okay of the harsh reality i think your relationship is good but i think um yeah you have a little bit issues with the world let's say and you know when uh when the world is in reverse usually when it's in the upright then it's a cycle that be, uh, that ends and a new cycle begins but um yeah when the world is in the uh, uh is in the reverse then usually it's like the same cycle uh comes back again and again and again okay and maybe um this is what you do maybe you you you're really good together but um maybe you have issues keeping a job or um paying the rent or something like that i don't know why i get this but i have the feeling that um you have issues standing in reality okay um and of course with the judgment and reverse we don't want that actually either okay because the judgment when it's in the upright then it's also it's um you know it's a new beginning it's a resurrection okay the good things that you have done will reward it and uh, the bad things this is like very uh you know express what i say but uh you get my point okay and the bad things will um be punished okay and but you keep you keep yourself in a position that nothing new could start and i don't know why actually i will um i will do some clarifiers okay because this is really confusing like I have the feeling this is a really nice relationship very grounded why is the world in reverse here tell me okay 
Okay. Yeah. Again, this has this uh, uh, King and uh, of Pentacles in reverse. Again, there is something with monetary, with um, things that you can touch, physical things. Okay, I think your spirit and your love, there is everything all right, but somehow there is an issue with the material world. Okay. Um, like I said, maybe you have problems, issues with money, issues with keeping a job. You or the other person, okay? I'll try to do one more. King of Swords. Okay. Yeah, I think. Oh, okay. Maybe one of you has mental health issues. Uh, with the um, with the King of Swords, maybe. Uh, one of you have maybe depression. Or some other sort of mental health issues, okay? So, and I will clarify the judgment now. And this is why uh, maybe you you have problems with the real world. This is what I said. Judgment again. The king, the Queen of Cups. So. Oh. I verify again. Okay. Again. So this will not be clarified. Not really. Okay. Because I think spirit doesn't want me to tell what is going on. Because there is a circle here. Okay. When I ask for clarification, I got the two of swords in the reverse again. And um the queen of cups okay so i think yes i think really one of you has some issues what sort i don't know exactly i think mental health issues and the other person is um staying till the end okay this is like um and actually, um, yeah, deciding to stay, even though a judgment will not come. I know this is really hard to understand, but I have the feeling like one of you has mental health issues or other kind of issues, but probably mental health because of the king of swords and swords are mental um mental things thoughts words stuff like that and i think the other person will decide to stay because actually this relationship is really um beautiful otherwise except for this problem okay and with the judgment card you know there cannot be resurrection and uh Maybe this uh, the one person will stay even though they know that um, there will not be a normal life like with other people. But because the love is right and, you know, the feeling is right, one of them will stay. Okay, this is very heavy. Um, I'm sorry for that. Um, yes, and the issue is have faith. I think uh, same again. Maybe one is has a sickness or something or an illness and the other one needs a lot of faith okay to be with that person but um it will be all right okay because uh yeah in the beginning we have the two of swords and then the two of swords uh, for the clarification in reverse so um you know this is pro uh, issues with um decision making okay but you or the other person will come out of it and decide for um, 
the nurturing relationship, okay? So um, even though judgment is in reverse and so um, it maybe will not come like, or maybe this is just like not ending, even though maybe it's hard and it's difficult, but one person will decide to be in that relationship. And with the have faith, yeah, you need faith for the other person, um, you know, but because this is a very spiritual relationship, I will, I think this gives you both strength, okay? Oh, pile number four. I wish it wasn't so heavy, but I cannot do uh, anything about the cards, how they fall out, okay? And I hope you're still there because now is the lighthearted part. And I want to see what couple you resemble, okay? I have fam famous couples or movie couples in here. And I hope that give you a little bit of lightheartedness, okay? Yes, the couple in the notebook. Yes, y yeah, this is what I said. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so fitting. This is what I saw. Like, you know, I don't know if you watched the movie, if you have not watched it, because, you know, he, yeah, oh God, no, I, I will not spoil it you. If you have not seen that, this resembles, this resembles what I just told you, okay? Please go and watch it now. <clears throat> Listen, and then, okay. Romeo and Juliet, I, I think I have nothing to say about that, okay? Greatest love couple of all times. Oh my God, Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. So uh, yes, you are memorable, really memorable. And maybe um, before, maybe even before you uh, marry, maybe you will be separated for a short amount of time, but you will decide to come together again. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the Breakfast Club, Bender and Claire. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, one is rich, one is poor. This is, um, maybe I don't know <laughs> if that is a theme because I think uh, I had a lot of couples, um, one rich, one poor, but um, essentially two different worlds, okay? But um, yes, you will, I mean, great love couples, great, great love couples. And um, yes, I hope pile number four, you liked it. And um if you did, then please leave a thumbs up and comment down below if you uh, think that might resonate. And subscribe, of course. I upload every Monday and every Tuesday and I keep the videos coming. So I hope I will see you next week. Bye.